A generous donation attempts to remove small financial roadblocks for residents seeking help with drug addiction. The Greater Pine Belt Community Foundation presented the check to the Jeffries Fund. Fox 23's Corey Howard has more in our top story. Um, I feel like if, if we can just keep somebody alive long enough to see that there's another way. Pine Belt resident Nicole Cooper becomes emotional when talking about her battle with drug addiction, a fight she won after a spiritual encounter. I literally kind of uh, went into a church and just started chunking pill bottles full of pills into the altar. <laughs> For me, it was a really big deal, and then I just kind of went home and mm -hmm. didn't do any more drugs. Cooper admits it took several attempts before she could finally break her addiction, and she says one of the many reasons people struggle to break their addiction is because they lack the financial support needed. And that's why providing people with treatment and the financial means to go to treatment is important, because while you're sick and while you're coming off of drugs, you can't, you can't see a way out. You can't see a better life. And that's what keeps people going back into addiction over and over again. Longtime advocate James Moore knows the same story all too well. After his son battled addiction for nearly 10 years and passed away as a result of an overdose in 2015. 10% of our population has a substance use problem. 10% of our population. And out of that 10%, less than 10% are actually getting any treatment of any kind at any given time. A percentage more wants to bring down through the Jeffrey Fund. This fund, named after his deceased son, provides financial support to clients at Clearview Recovery and clients at the Oxford House. Today's $5,000 donation, sealed with a handshake, will help save more lives. Yeah, I'm 100% in favor of anything that keeps anybody alive because you don't, you don't get to come back. Corey Howard, Fox 23 News.